proposal to make Malaysia the gateway for investment into ASEAN has been dismissed as unrealistic. Malaysian Institute for Economic Research senior fellow Jeffrey Williams described it as no longer relevant and a narrative that is already out of date. Another economist, Barjoy Badai, said that it would require sustained commitment and resources given the strong competition from Indonesia, Vietnam, and Thailand, which have overtaken Malaysia. Williams and Barjoyai were responding to a statement by Minister of International Trade and Industry, Dunku Zafrol Aziz, outlining an agenda to position Malaysia as a strategic country and a quality investment destination, with the credibility to also act as a gateway to Southeast Asia. Williams pointed out, that offshore investments were already flowing directly into the big markets, such as Indonesia and Vietnam, adding, those investors don't need a gateway. Williams said, net foreign direct investments to Malaysia had been falling since 2016 and that Malaysian companies have been increasingly investing in other countries. Barjoy said, any new investment should come with multiplier effects that can reverberate through the economy to restructure it citing Thailand's electric vehicle manufacturer Energy Absolute as an example. Williams said that, rather than woo big brand names, Malaysia should pursue smaller companies that will actually create jobs, offer supply chain opportunities, and promote long-term research and development for the country.